This is the Uniqlo Round Shoulder Mini Bag. You've probably already seen videos showing how much stuff can fit into it, but if you're still deciding whether to get it, well, you're in luck. In this video, we're going over the good, the bad, and a few not so scientific tests. And by the end of it, you can better decide if this bag is for you. Okay, let's get to it. The first thing you'll notice is just how lightweight the bag is, almost like it's not there at all. So how heavy it is mostly depends on what you put inside, but more on the storage later. The second thing you'll notice is the crinkly texture of the nylon shell. Not sure how I feel about it, but if you're not into it, then maybe consider the darker colors or the other non-nylon variants. Take note that according to the product description, only the nylon versions are coated with a water repellent finish. I tested it under running water and the water repellent finish does indeed work. However, it's not completely water proof because water can still seep through the seams and zippers. It should be okay for light rains, but I wouldn't wear this under a heavy downpour. Also, the finish is not permanent, and if my Uniqlo Block Tech Parka is anything to go by, it'll probably be gone in about 5 washes. So avoid washing this as much as you can. But when you do eventually wash this bag, dry it in a shaded area, because nylon fabrics will fade when exposed to sunlight. Unless you're a patina loving denim head, then sure, go ahead and do otherwise. Now, here comes the not so good part. Between the nylon shell and polyester interior are the polyester fillings, which add some padding. And I don't know if it's just my bag, but if you look closely, you can see some strands coming through the shell, kind of like in cheap down jackets and IKEA pillows. To be fair, it doesn't really reduce the functionality of the bag. It's just the fact that I know that the strands are bleeding out makes me anxious for some reason, so it's almost a deal breaker for me. Almost. Point is, before you buy the bag, give it a good rub and check for any flaws. Moving on, the plastic zipper. It's not YKK, but it zips and unzips rather smoothly in whatever position you are carrying it in. This is more of a me problem, but as someone who likes to be low-key, the zip is a tad loud. Like, not in a fashion sense loud, but literally sounds loud. Enough to make me self conscious in the cinema or library. On the inside, the lining is made from 100% polyester. I usually put my phone and wallet in the two pockets, and I don't know why I expected them to slide out, but despite the many vigorous shakes, they stayed in place. Which is a huge plus, because I can now run after a bus knowing that my wallet is where it is, and I won't have to awkwardly find it when I'm in front of the queue later. In the main compartment, you can put items like an umbrella, tissue paper, water bottle, Swiss army knives, some snacks, and what have you. And I guess this is the part where people get mind blown, because of how flat it starts off and the fact that there's always space for one more item. Well, it's all got to do with the pleats. Can't say I'm surprised as a menswear dude, regardless, they're always appreciated. Just don't expect the items to stay in place if you're shaking it. Though if you're simply walking down the street, using the bag as intended, I wouldn't worry about making a mess inside. Also, the stitching inside is okay for its price, but I would pay attention here, where the two pockets meet. It seems prone to tearing, so maybe don't put too many stuff there. Next, the adjustable shoulder strap. It can go as long as 46 inches and shorten to 12 inches, which means you can sling it short or long on your shoulder or across your body. Personally, I wear the strap short across my body because I'm always paranoid of pickpockets. Not that I've ever been pickpocketed, so I guess I must be doing something right. Anyway, the strap is made from sturdy polyester webbing. Keep in mind, on the days where you sweat a lot, to the extent that the strap will absorb some sweat on your shoulders, you might want to reconsider wearing this bag because polyester being polyester, it'll stink up over time. Sure, you can always wash it, but remember, the water repellent coating will be washed away too. The bag retails for $19.90 SGD, but I got them on sale for $14.90. I gotta say, as someone who is into classic menswear, not hopping on the trends is central to my identity, but this bag has shattered my worldview. No kidding. Who knew something so cheap and trendy can also be stylish and functional? Well, apparently the millions of Gen Z's on TikTok, but definitely not the menswear dudes who have a tendency to dismiss all things trendy. I'm glad I got this because it's now my errand running, go out to town, do nearly anything kind of bag. And I'd say it's even worth buying it at full price, despite all the flaws I mentioned earlier which are really more petty complaints than actual flaws. Okay now watch this video, until next time, stay subtle!